Hey everyone, it's Q here. Welcome to the channel. We're gonna do a extended reading on this Four Rings of Focus for the day as a um, Knight of Wands sets his gaze upon what made him passionate, sets forth after it with pouring emotion and realness into the Ace of Cups and sharing it with someone. Yeah, let's rip that up. Look at that, they have a good time. Uh, the path forward is grabbing that passion and letting it ignite. I like how the little mouse sets the tone for each of these aces here. It starts with the Ace of Swords there. I want to be king, as he says. Boom. You can see it there. He's got that little king crown over his head. It's a great idea. Uh, becoming a student of truth. And getting out there. Boom. Once you get out there, you can find that ultimate dream life there with the Ten of Coins. Boom. I like that. I didn't look that far. So after we uh, seize that passion there and it ignites, we have to face our fear that, um, one, we may not get the justice that we thought. Two, it may be unfair. Three, on a third layer, we're worried that our heart will be heavier than the feather, as that's the theme of this justice here. So lighten your heart. A new passion. Wielding truth. And sharing a realness and emotion with others have a passion ignite <laughs> from the night <laughs> uh we end up doing another layer here but i got the chariot on the bottom of the deck here as we're going into it and i want to cut and see as we share that emotion with the three of cups there the night um is sparked its passion from um being um reduced down to just the foundation for what wasn't stable and true and real has been mm, knocked down to just its foundation and from its foundation that passion sparks and the king of wands grabs and rules with mm, the f like mm, not arrogance because sometimes it's the burger king yeah i get it but this is, um, I just see the energy level of, they know what they want and they're going to go get it. It's kind of like the, uh, see me with the five of wands. Nothing's going to stop me, but I still care. And you still got like emotion and depth in their eyes, especially with the ace of cups here. And they're stable and nurturing because they are abundant and able to just, um, share that cup openly because they are stable and grounded but they face a decision and that's kind of what i was curious here it's like what is this decision it comes to them easily when you wield the ace of swords there one is sharp and one is dull or a shadow sometimes but when one aligns with the truth it's easy to determine what the actual good course of action is um, as I threw out this here in the Ace of Wands, falling on top of the Ace of Wands, there is a passion there and let it ignite. I feel like that's uh, complementary to the uh, Knight and King here. And when one grabs their passion and it's uh, just burst, <laughs> um, the Wheel of Fortune here just gets going. And the snake that was keeping it from um, turning gets uh, out of the way. Mm, eh. That's okay. I won't judge myself too harshly. <laughs> um, worrying, worrying about our heavy heart um, from love unreciprocated has got us worried and in regret. So we fear that we won't pull ourselves out of it. But a new passion and beginning is coming with something stable and something worth celebrating over that ignites our, our fury to have something new. So don't fear justice there. It'll balance out in the end. Boom. Hi. Yeah, victoriously. As the chariot marches forth, both the horses know where to go instead of mm, one going one way and one going the other. The emperor drives the chariot and that mofo literally wields the sun. And sun is happiness. So, I like 
perfect. Because the Emperor drives the chariot. Boom. And he wields the Ace of Swords and knows how to use it. He brings truth. So he ain't waiting. <laughs> that New Horizon's right there. He's put the other two down and is actually taking this Ace to go get his happiness in the sun. Transforming this worried heart by putting an end to it. And swiftly, as the divine just, or nah, not the divine, as you just let everything go and it swiftly just falls away. Instead of clutching on and miserly holding it, eclipsing your sun. And once you do that, 10 cups of happiness, happy family, happy wife, happy children, or just happy life. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> 10 cups, 10 coins. Boop. Pulls us in out of the cold there. For that chariot is coming in quickly. The Emperor's bringing that truth. Nothing's gonna stop him. They all let it fall away. Not clutching to it. <laughs> Putting an end. A feeling out in the cold of regret. And, uh, love unreciprocated. Because love unreciprocated is just despair. To pour love into somebody and get non-love in return. It's literally just going to put your hands in your head. Tears that make it snow. But again, nothing's going to stop you. There's that five of wands. You got not people standing in your way, but honoring you as you cross underneath you. I like it. Because once you cross underneath that, you get to your happiness there. All right. Uh, so, um, let's just do three cards and a crosser. And we'll sum up a little extended. The Queen of Cups there. It jumps up outside, upside down. But I'll test it with the kinesiology to see if that's how it was. As a high priestess has the scroll of life there. And will tell me for sure. <laughs> Uh, high Priestess is that intuition, and she's got her eyes open. A little serious, though. She'll tell you. She doesn't keep it a secret. She'll look at you and be like, fool. <laughs> and scribe it down. Uh, it's a cup here. It's supposed to be upside down. Right side up. Cool. All right. So that chalice of life is ready to be shared. In. But equally, instead of that despair on his face. I like how it, yeah, I never noticed that. He don't look too happy for a knight bringing in a cup. <laughs> Maybe he's worried. She, she's ready. Share that chalice of life there. Boom. Fearlessly go in, triumphant, victoriously. Uh, however, armored, <laughs> which is wise. After someone's been hurt, yeah, keep your boundaries up. That's what I see with all these, like, uh, banners in the background. <laughs> also, watch out for red flags as you're giving your cup. And, um, oh, I never noticed that either. That poor lion is chained and sad looking. Break that chain. Miss Missy there in her uh, armor. Let that lion uh, protect you. Stand vigilant. That Knight of Wands shows up again with a repeating message. And they're ready to share that passion. Interesting. Get that cup of love. That passion they want. There's lots of passion in this reading here. And maybe that's the choice there. Between love and passion. But temperance would balance the two there. And you do both. As suggested with the transformation here of getting ten cups and ten coins. Boom. Get that wheel moving. Um, this, this one? No, Inspired Cut. Boom. Yep, because that world. The world opens up and you can nurture it. And all the cogs that was keeping it from flowing easily fall away. I love that world card. It's so beautiful. Her eyes open. And you got the sun and moon being one in behind them. Mm, no. 
boom. Set off the calm waters by ourselves and take those swords and go put them the rest, wielding just that ace of truth to go be our king that we can be. King of wands, king of swords, and emperor, riding the chariot. Inspired to cut, back to justice. This justice though is blindfolded, her scales are balanced, and she wields the sword of truth. A little different from this one. This one wields truth. This one weighs your heart. So it brings a different energy. <laughs> yes, it does. Because this, this queen of swords, he brings the truth, the king, uh, king of swords, this queen of swords. You gotta face the truth. Especially if you want that solid new beginning. Because just keeping an eye on things, and spying, and just like, hmm. <sighs> Making sure before you go in, you may end up losing that divine um, grace on the actual encounter. As it's hard to see in this here. But there's two people <laughs> genuflecting in front of the, I guess, Pope. <laughs> His mudra is suggesting that change your path. Change from the sword to the page of cups. Bring in that mm, love that's not tainted or jaded from this row here. Boom. Inspired to cut. Yep. Inspired to move to unjaded love instead of the um, short-sighted victories and pushing everybody away there. And that happens with our six of swords there. That's the escalation. The five to the six. But in this case, it went from six to five. So be careful of um, digressing. Mm, that's not the right word. Um, yeah, short-sighted victories there. Don't push everybody away because you got hurt before. Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Uh, boom. Yep. You know what to stand for. You know what makes you passionate and happy. Stand vigilant. Hmm. All I can see is the moon coming in. Boom. Yeah. Ooh, I got a sneeze. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ow. Oof. Oh, that was painful. Ah, <laughs> the doggo there looked at the fool. He's like, what are you doing, bro? Leap in. Why are you standing here? That wand's losing its fire. <laughs> we had all this fire before. Where'd that fire go? <laughs> Boom. It went to confusion. Now, not for nothing, I choose the dragon. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Interesting. I guess it's supposed to be the little chibi version of... Yeah, what is that? High Priestess, maybe? I don't know. I would choose the dragon. <laughs> um, don't let choice and confusion... Don't let the choice options burden you. Because this girl, she's got it. She's like, oh, I got this. Shoot, I'm going to kneel and I can get up. Because I know how to use these as tools. She grabs one and uses it to help him get her up. Although, it's okay to ask for help. But I understand when your heart's hurt, you don't want to ask for help. You just want to get on your own. It's like a returning theme. So, see the beauty in the three of swords there. Pull out the two and wield the one. That'll get you to your balance and justice. And the Ace of Swords. Uh, where'd she go? To the Queen of Swords. Uh, inspired to cut one more time. Boom. Yep. And that leads to a wish fulfillment. Happy life. Happy with yourself. And on your own, you'll be able to be happy with someone else. Leading back to that transformation of the Ten Cups and Ten uh, Coins. And I'll do one. Yep. Happiness. Happiness. Hit. Oh, look at that. Boom. That was on the bottom of the deck. 
buggers into their wish and walking towards ah uh, there's the temperance we needed that angel energy of temperance balancing the two jugs there passion and emotion setting flight mm, i want to see there yep pay attention to the details again don't let the five of swords there keep pushing people away it'll burden you keep you from your happiness don't clutch on let it go and see that justice isn't something to fear so said the high priestess <laughs> uh, that's cute um, let's do this guy it's truth on the bottom boom Cut into the face of truth of the Queen of Swords wielding the Ace of Truth. Give it a little shuffle here, and we'll do three cards and a crosser, and we'll call it our we'll call it a reading. So there's one card. Mm, there's two cards and three. Boom. I like it. We have the Empress, the card of creation itself, as she gives birth to a son using butterflies and just her beauty. And to the Ace of Cups, that love so abundant that it literally fills the atmosphere with enough realness and love and water to let fish fly in it. Because one has their resolve. And when you have your resolve, you can share that cup and be the beautiful creator that you are. Oh, look at that. Beautiful creator that you are. As the Hierophant sits on the bottom of the deck. Our crossing card. So you can turn this King of Wands, just getting their passion ignited. Once they grab that passion, their wings open up and they can be tempered, being passionate and filled with cups. Wielding truth. Spark to cut. Man, three aces of wands, I love it. Another ace of wands shows up. So there's passion here. But by their fruits you shall know them. So don't be scared. Just be mm, tempered, boundaried, and know what you want. Have that resolve. Truth. <laughs> I love when that happens. It's true shows back up, and let's see, we get our cut here. Yep. Nine of swords there. It's gonna bring that sword in, and it gets all that passion. Oh yeah, there's your reading there. Boom. Wield truth and nurture it, and go share that emotion. If you're in a dark space, he's got you.